Drug Regulation and Control Important Timeline Events Harrison Tax Act Established that manufacturers, pharmacists, importers and physicians prescribing narcotics must be licensed and pay a tax. Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act Required that new drugs are shown to be safe before marketing and establish the FDA. Durham-Humphrey Amendment Defines which drugs require prescriptions and must include on the label Rx only or caution. Federal law prohibits dispensing without a prescription. Kefauver Harris Amendment Requires drug manufacturers to provide proof of safety and effectiveness before a drug can be marketed. Fair Packaging and Labeling Act Requires all consumer products to be labeled honestly and informatively. Poison Prevention Packaging Act Requires child-proof packaging on all controlled substances and most prescription drugs. Non-child-proof containers must be requested by prescriber or patient before it can be dispensed. Controlled Substances Act or CSA Classifies the five controlled substances schedules and establishes the DEA as a division of the Justice Department. Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act or OBRA. Mainly, requires pharmacists to offer medication counseling to Medicaid patients. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Mainly provides protection of patients' privacy. Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act. Establishes limits on the sale of OTC drugs containing pseudoephedrine, ephedrine and phenylpropanolamine. FDA Amendments Act. Establishes Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy, or REMS, requirements for manufacturers of drugs and biologicals. Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Healthcare reform intended to expand access to health insurance for uninsured Americans. Drug Quality and Security. Expands the authority of the Food and Drug Administration for compounded drugs. Key Terms Placebo An inactive substance given in place of a medication without the test patient's knowledge, in order to account for placebo effect within an experiment. Pediatric Having to do with the treatment of children. Pharmaceutical Equivalent Contains identical amounts of the active ingredient in the same dosage form. Therapeutic equivalent. Produces the same effects in the patients. Product labeling. Inserts, brochures and other documents provided with the drug, containing information not found on the label of the drug product itself. Behind-the-counter medication. Over-the-counter medications that may have additional restrictions on their sale. Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act or CMEA. Sets a daily limit of 3.6 grams of ephedrine, pseudoephedrine or phenylpropanol amine and a monthly limit of 7.5 grams, per purchaser. A written record must be kept that contains the product name, quantity sold, name and address of purchaser, date and time of sale, proof of identification, and the purchaser's signature. Meant to aid against the production of methamphetamine or crystal meth. Exempt narcotics. Refers to OTC medications containing limited amounts of habit-forming ingredients, with an age restriction of 18 years. Dual marketing status. Emergency contraceptives. Refers to drugs that have both a prescription required, and OTC status that depends on the age of the patient. Under 17 years of age requires a prescription. NDC numbers. Identification numbers assigned by the manufacturer to a drug product. They are made up of three sets. The first set indicates the manufacturer. The second set indicates medication, strength, and dosage form. The third set indicates the package size. DEA number is an identifying number assigned to all authorized prescribers and must be included on all prescriptions of controlled substances. DEA Form 222 is a form required to order Schedule 1 drugs for research purposes and Schedule 2 drugs for prescription purposes. 
Controlled substance mark. Indicates the control category of a drug with a potential for abuse. C2 to C5. C1 are drugs with a high potential for abuse and no accepted medical use in the United States, may not be prescribed, can only be used for research purposes and requires DEA Form 222. C2 are drugs with a high potential for abuse but also have accepted medical uses, and also requires DEA Form 222. C3 to C5, the potential for abuse decreases. Adverse effect. An unintended side effect of a medication that is negative or in some way injurious to a patient's health. Injunction. A court order preventing a specific action, such as the distribution of a potentially dangerous drug. Recall. Is the action taken to remove a drug from the market and return it to the manufacturer? Liability. Is the legal responsibility for costs or damages arising from misconduct or negligence? Misconduct. Doing something that should not or must not be done. Negligence. Failing to do something that should or must be done. Key concepts. Ways of being negligent. Incorrectly labeling the prescription. Failing to maintain patient confidentiality. Failing to recognize expired drugs. Making calculation errors. Dispensing the wrong medication. Incorrect handling of controlled substances. Inaccurate record keeping. New drug approval. All new drugs require FDA approval before they can be marketed. In order to gain FDA approval, the new drug must be shown to be safe, effective and that the benefits outweigh the risks or side effects. Initial testing is conducted on animal models before progressing to human testing. Very few new drugs make it past the animal testing stage. Clinical trials or human testing is the next phase of testing after animal testing. There are three phases of human testing that the new drug must pass before it can be marketed. Phase 1 is intended to show that the drug is safe to use. 20 to 100 patients participate in this phase over a span of several months. Less than one quarter of the drugs that begin phase 1 are approved for marketing. Phase 2 is intended to show that the new drug is effective while continuing to test its safety. Several hundred patients participate in this phase over a span of up to two years. Phase 3 is intended to determine the dosage, while continuing to test its safety and effectiveness. Several hundred to several thousand patients participate in this phase over a span up to four years. Once a new drug passes clinical trials and is marketed it is monitored for adverse effects which are reported through MedWatch. If enough adverse effects are reported a recall may be required. Marketed drugs. Marketed drugs receive a patent which gives the manufacturer exclusive rights to market the drug, typically for 20 years from the date of filing, not the date the drug is approved for marketing. Manufacturers can apply for up to a 5-year extension to help recoup their initial investment. After a patent expires other drug manufacturers are allowed to market the drug under its generic name, so long as the drug is both pharmaceutically and therapeutically equivalent to the brand name counterpart. The recall process. Adverse effects are reported to the FDA, via MedWatch. A recommendation is made to recall the drug, most recalls are voluntary. The manufacturer agrees to a recall and works on a recall plan. Customers, doctors, pharmacies, etc. are then notified of the recall. Finally, the recall is listed publicly. Drug Recall Classes Class 1. Strong likelihood that the product will cause serious adverse effects or death. Class 2. May cause temporary, but reversible adverse effects or little likelihood of serious adverse effects. Class 3 not likely to cause adverse effects. Key Concepts Summary Law and the Technician Federal laws provide a foundation for the state laws that govern pharmacy practice. 
State boards of pharmacy are responsible for licensing all prescribers and dispensers as well as administering regulations for the practice of pharmacy in the state. In addition to laws and regulations, professional bodies set and maintain standards and some of these standards are encoded in laws. Drug Regulation The FDC Act established the FDA and the legal framework for its operation. There are many amendments to the FDC Act as well as other federal laws that apply to pharmacy. Privacy. HIPAA contains regulations related to privacy and protected health information. All personnel who have access to PHI must be formally trained regarding HIPAA. New Drug Approval. Before it is approved for marketing, a new drug must be shown to be both safe, effective, and that its benefits outweigh its risks. Marketed drugs. Once a patent for a brand drug expires, other manufacturers may copy the drug and release it under its generic name. Federal laws for labels and labeling set minimum requirements for prescription labels that include name and address of the dispenser, prescription serial number, date of prescription or filing, name of prescriber, name of patient, directions for use and cautionary statements. Public safety. Recalls are, with a few exceptions, voluntary on the part of the manufacturer. Controlled substances. The Controlled Substances Act or CSA identified five schedules for controlled substances with strict limitations on ordering, distributing, prescribing, and dispensing of controlled drugs. Law and the courts. Legal liability means you can be prosecuted for misconduct and negligence.